Cooperito P.I. No, Cooperito P.I. What? He did what? Oh, God damn it. Look, calm down, relax. I'll be there as quick as I can. That's okay. But hey, I'm always there to help. Take care. Hey, sweetheart. Hmm? Alright, I've got like a work to do. Oh! 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 Hey! Thank you, come again. The name's Kurt Burrito. I'm what you might call a dick. A private dick. A P.I. A gumshoe. Yep, I'm a private investigator. I handle all the great cases, and I love my job. <gasps> oh, cold. Oh, 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 oh. What a beautiful day. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and some dog is probably crapping in Mr. Masters' yard again. The client was Sally Jane Summers. She's hired me before. Again, it's to do with her ex-boyfriend, Toby Miller. He'd kept hold of some rather personal photos of her. Nothing naughty, of course. Just personal. Sally Jane Summers. Successful. Beautiful. Hell of a shape on her. Oof. She was frustrated and upset. I told her that I'd have this wrapped up in about an hour, and then I'd meet her there. The game was on. It didn't take me too long to find Miller. <laughs> Slimy toe rag give up the photos a little too easy. I see you again, I want to smack you out, do you understand me? <laughs> uh... Oh. Look, I'm sorry. Hey, look, hey, yeah, yeah. look, I'm sorry. Hey. Go on, take it, go on. Ah, uh, the macho, on. rugged, out. modern man. Let it out, let it out. Uh, oh my god. I was quite embarrassed. I got the photos and was back to meet Sally Jane in under 50 minutes. She was relieved and very grateful. See? I love my job. After Sally Jane paid me in kind, twice, I had to sub 20 bucks off my dad. When he asked why, he offered me a condom, ribbed, just in case. I graciously declined. He's so persuasive. Later on, I took my daily half-mile run along the coast. I try to stay in shape. As you can see, I'm at the peak of physical fitness. Oh, I ached all over. The last time I ached this much, I'd been with a girl from Maidrim. <laughs> but that's a different story. All I wanted was a shower, a snack, and maybe a cold beer. And that's when my keen detective skills really kicked in. Ah, swell. An abandoned baby on my doorstep with a note. A great start to a perfect day.
The letter was addressed to me. The baby was mine. This is your baby, Harley Marie. Ah, oh, shit. I needed help, and fast. The one man I can depend on. My best friend, the wood. I hope he's in. <sighs> She's asleep. <sighs> Share this on To Kurt, this is your daughter, Holly Marie. I can no longer look after her. I know she'll be safe and better off with you. I'm sorry to drop her on you this way. I'm sorry for everything. Simone. Simone? <clears throat> yeah, remember the, uh, the call girl? <laughs> the one with the big whoa! Yeah, that one, yeah. Uh... Oh. <sighs> yeah, she looks like you. Nah. <sighs> I should try and find her. See if I can help. Can you help? I got her. I showered and changed. I had to find Simone at all costs. I left Holly Marie with the wood. I knew she'd be safe with him. <gasps> Every time. I tried her best friend, a former pro who she worked with. Then stopped off for a honey and mustard chicken pasta salad. That's all they had. I could have murdered a burger. The last girl I tried, I got lucky. She'd just seen her. Finally, I might have found Simone. Kurt! Oh. Ah! <laughs> you found me! Of course I found you. I'm a private investigator. Get in there! I would have found you a lot sooner if I hadn't stopped off for a snack. Mind you, you weren't that hard to find. Only you've got a car like that in this town. Why are you here? Why did you find me? Because I was worried about you. You leave a baby on my doorstep. You tell me it's mine. Talk to me, maybe I can help. This has got way out of hand. I'm sorry I've got you involved. Involved? Looks like I had no choice, being my baby and everything. I can't believe you never told me sooner. It's not your baby, Kurt. What? It's not yours. <laughs> it's not even mine. Whoa, no. I'm a little confused. I brought Holly Marie to you so she would be safe until I could sort all this mess out. Oh, God. What have I done? Now, look, Simone, I'm now as confused as the time when Matthew Richards came into the club and said, Hey, guys, look! Do you hear that? The baby isn't mine. She's the daughter of John Tucker, um, the Welsh secretary. You've kidnapped the Welsh Secretary's daughter. He gave me no choice. He refused to pay me for the photos I have of him. Or kidnapping and blackmail. Anything else now you want to tell me? He refused to pay me because he knew my secret. Um, we both had dirt on each other, so... I took his daughter. Well, so what's he got on you then? I know you're not a call girl anymore, but surely if that was public knowledge... No, no, it's not that. He found out that I'm a transsexual. A what? A transsexual. Kurt... I was born a man. Whoa! 
Stop. You're telling me that you, you, were born a man. <laughs> Come on. I know that's not true. Those nights we shared. I've had the full operation, Kit. I was born Simon. And I used to have a penis. But, but know this. You were the only man that ever made me feel like a real woman. Uh, I don't know if this is helping. Why not? I was unhappy with myself, so I became a woman. For the first time in my life, I was happy. I worked as a cool girl first, because there's a market for people like me. But that's how I met you. And I thought that we had something special. I met a man that loved me for who I really am. A woman. I can't believe you were born a man. <laughs> You'd think with my keen detective skills I would have realised. Dr Barry Francis. He did an amazing job. No shit. But you know what? That's okay. That's fine. What we did have was special. Doesn't matter. What does matter is the fact that you've kidnapped the Welsh Secretary's daughter, who's now been looked after by the Wood, who I've now implicated in this whole thing. So what are on these photographs? Some different shots with women and men. Right. Do you have them here? No. But they're in a safe place. And only I know where they are. <laughs> oh! Simon! I mean, uh, Simone! Uh, oh. Son of a bitch. Freeze! It was Toby Miller. I couldn't believe it. Was that bullet meant for me? Did he try to get revenge from what I did earlier? Or has he been hired by John Tucker to silence Simone? Son of a bitch must pay. Huh? Oh, Simone! Simone! So cold. Kit. Yeah. Kiss me one last time. Circumstances are a little different now, Simone. Please. Don't do it, Kurt. She's a guy. But then, who cares? Look at that body. She's got a great ass. Do one thing for me. Anything. Lose the accent. You're from Carmarthen. God, Mrs. Chumley, take her inside. Mr. Burrito, thank you. If there's anything I can do, just say the word. Well, you could start by watching your ass. Excuse me? You would. You could start by watching your ass. Because from now on, I'm going to be all over it. I know exactly why your daughter was kidnapped. That woman was deranged. Oh, look, firstly, her name was Simone. Yes, she did a foolish thing, but she had her reasons. I know exactly why she did it. 
Well, what I know and what I can prove are two different things, aren't they? Look, Mr. Burrito, whatever she told you. It doesn't matter what she told me, does it? It all comes down to what I believe and who I believe. Now, look here. If you're going to go around starting making accusations... No, you look here. Like I said, what I know and what I can prove are two different things. I want you to know that. Simone is dead. Whatever dirt she had on you is now lost forever. Rather convenient, don't you agree? But I'm not accusing. I'm not speculating. I'm just telling you how it is. I'll be seeing you again. You can count on it. Whatever you do, I'll be watching. Next time you take a piss, I want you to look down and see if I'm whole... Bad example. I'll be seeing you again. Well, have a good day, sir. Give my regards to Mrs. Tucker. I hope that rash is cleared up. Mine did. Malone! I think we have another problem. Well, Holly Marie is back safely with her family. Toby Miller is dead, and poor Simone will be buried next Tuesday. The evidence she had on John Tucker died with her. I'm going to miss Simone. She had a great ass. Good burrito, P.I. I'm bored. Entertain me. Uh, I'll be there in five minutes. See you soon. Oh yeah. Next time on Burrito P.I. I've got your friend. Do exactly as I say or he's dead. Rich! Dad, Mr. Wood, he's in trouble. I'll get my keys. Oh my god! Why the hell wasn't I invited? Ah! Ready? Oh yeah. Let's roll. Okay, Dad, wait for my. Uh! <laughs>